If you want to bring the best dish to your Easter potluck, make this delicious cheesy mac and cheese and everyone will love you. The base of this recipe is the original, the amazing Chef Tini's recipe. However, I did make a few changes to make it more flavorful. So while your cavatappi pasta is boiling, prepare and shred all of the different cheeses. Today we will be using one pound of Colby Jack, one pound of mozzarella, and half of a pound of sharp cheddar cheese. If you want a smokier flavor, feel free to even use smoked gouda instead of the cheddar. Once you have all of the cheeses shredded, toss it up and separate it in half. Now for the seasoning mixture, add in one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. The chicken bouillon just adds a depth of flavor to the mac and cheese, and if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend it. Then also add in garlic powder and smoked paprika. Into your pot, melt three tablespoons of unsalted butter, then add half of the seasoning mixture to toast all the flavors together. Then add in your three tablespoons of flour. I like to mix after each tablespoon so that the roux doesn't get all lumpy, but just cook the flour off for about two minutes before adding in the evaporated milk and heavy cream. Also peep the silicone whisk. If you know, you know. Add in the rest of the seasoning mixture and I do less than a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I do less than a tablespoon because I found that it was a little too sharp with the full tablespoon, but of course this is all to your preference. Once everything is nice and whisked together, add in all of your cheeses. I like to turn the heat off at this point so the mixture doesn't curdle but just keep stirring well and it'll make this beautiful velvety cheesy sauce now my favorite part mixing the noodles and the cheese sauce together i'm just gonna let the raw audio speak for itself because i know we all love to listen to this Now that we all enjoyed that little ASMR moment, we're gonna put our mac and cheese into the pan and try to not spill everywhere like I did. So add in half of the mac and cheese and then half of the remaining cheese mixture, then add in the rest of the mac and cheese and top with the last bit of cheese. Throw it into your oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and broil for the last three to four minutes to get that beautiful golden crust. This mac and cheese recipe is so reliable and you can truly customize it to your liking with different cheeses and even adding in things like bacon. As always, the recipe will be in the caption and I hope you guys enjoy!